I wait for um, some people to get the notification that we're live and all this jazz. Uh, Reaper is making a pre-celebratory cake uh, in the microwave. Awesome bachelor cooking. It's great! So, uh, I still haven't figured out how to make music um, that won't get us booted off of Twitch yet. So, I've decided that I have this really fun little poem book that I will read you some poems. Um, this poem book is I Could Chew on This and Other Poems by Dogs by Francisco Marcialio. Subterfuge. A nudge of, an, of nose, a sleight of hand, but within a moment it is done. I peer by your side, right there for the drop, and another mission is complete. As spies in the night, as agents in the field, as couriers, we must not be caught. Then something was wrong. Then I hawk up a bone. Then twelve pieces of meat. And then that napkin I ate without thinking. A resource is lost. A network undone. And alas, there will be no more table scraps tonight. Poor puppy. <laughs> Buffet. Okay. All right, hold on, just another second. There, I've successfully digested a dirty diaper. Really, the things people throw out in a garbage pail at nose level. But hey, I'm always up for a challenge. That's a really bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> you read this one. Nothing seems to work. I use my teeth, I try my paw, I whine a lot. I walk in circles, but nothing seems to work. Then with a twist of your wrist, you turn the doorknob. And that's when I finally realize you are a wizard. <laughs> this one's called Bored. I get so bored. So very bored. Being all alone, stuck inside this house, 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 house. Which explains why I shoved my head inside this jar and everything has an echo. Does anyone have any Vaseline? <sighs> Poor puppy thinking he knows what Vaseline is. <laughs> I have made the tweet, but it is taking its time. Huh. I should unpin that. But it's not something for on air. Okay, should we get started? I think we shall, but okay. this is taking its sweet ass time. We're still plugged in. Okay. It's just taking its sweet ass time. It is. Okay, so, uh, welcome to Tandem Gaming, officially. I'm Son. I'm Reprey. And, uh, last week we, surprise, finished, um, Portal 1. So, now we're gonna start Portal 2. You monster. I am a monster. New game! Um. Yeah, okay. from, the, from the first one. This is all Reprey stuff, so... I've like, played I, it before, so there's some unlocked things. Yeah. But this is San's first time playing Portal 2. <laughs> the tweet has gone out, apparently. Wreckage. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness <laughs> exercise. So gymnastics. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Stop. 
staring. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. So now please return to your bed. <laughs> I already like this. This is fun. Good morning. You have been in suspension for Hello? Are you gonna open the door? Hello? No? Are you gonna open this door? No, we're gonna turn on subtitles. Yeah. Uh, full captions will be, yeah, no, just, just the subtitle. Or otherwise you'll have like... Is this fa failure to concern regarding this policy? Oh, just open the door! Hello, friend! Why not open the door? Write us a letter. <laughs> Hola amigo, abre la puerta. Donde esta? No, um. <laughs> fine, no, fine, absolutely fine. It's not like I don't have, you know, ten thousand other test subjects begging me to help them escape. You know, it's not like this place is about to explode. All right, look, okay, I'll be honest. You're the last test subject left, and if you don't help me, we're both gonna die. All right, I didn't want to say it. There you go. You've got it out of me. All right, dead. Dos muerte. Go on. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, God. You look te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? <laughs> How, are you? Well, don't answer that. I'm actually sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take two. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all I'm saying. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. What? 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 Um. You're dead. You alright down there? Can you hear me? Hello? My desk exploded at me. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, yeah. and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. Sure. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped, but never mind. Say apple, apple. Okay, you know what, that's close enough. Just one time. <laughs> <laughs> All reactor you core safeguards it, are now non <laughs> Oh my god. There for reactor core you meltdown. Got this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? I don't want to get off the that. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. I don't want to fall out. Course, Nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I have space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Oh, that's that. That's... I, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. Okay. Almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Um, no. I don't think that's a docking station. I don't think that's a docking station. That's not a docking station. Good docking news. Station is that is not a docking below. station. So there's one mystery solved. <sighs> uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. 
No! Oh my god. What Almost is wrong there. with your CPU? Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Oh my goodness. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um, at least you're a good jumper. So, you've got that you've got jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Alright, off you go. Go on, just march on through that hole. That's not a hole. It is now. Hello. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Oh my goodness. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially yeah. apocalyptic Radio. significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. <laughs> the portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, Two, one. I do not like emergency testing. At least you're not in your full jumpsuit this time. Yeah, I am. Oh, I took my coat off. Apparently, I stopped with my boots on. Well, they may be attached to your feet. Oh, just permanent high heels? That's, that's gonna be a Bitch to friggin' coordinate. It's gonna be white everything. And based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. <laughs> oh, thanks for that. Uh, I feel much doubt now. Ooh, it even glows confirmation. That seems nice and spazzy. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. There's a wee bit of acceleration and deceleration in your movement. It makes it smoother, but it's a little... It takes slow getting used to. Oh yeah. So I like, press let go and I'm like two steps over after I let go. Huh. I want to read. It says blur. Blur, blur, blur. blur it blur, is blur. a very pretty blur. Water? No. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. <laughs> oh, fan freaking tastic! <laughs> it used to be the worst thing that could happen, is it would take your teeth. Yeah. Now it can take your entire ear canal. <laughs> Back to chamber one. Oh, wow, this is the original Chamber 1. <laughs> That's great. It's seen much better days. Oh, hi. It seems to be easier now because there are buttons to control portals. Instead of you with a portal gun. Shooting at random things? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's where. They did make it very clear when you knew if the cube was in the right spot. Many because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview 
when society has been rebuilt. <laughs> um, I don't think that elevator is going anywhere, but I guess we're going down. Don't really have a choice. <laughs> Look out! Oh. <laughs> Meow. You tried. Meow. It faded to black. Meow. Yeah, they make it very clear that it's an intentional loading. If the Earth is currently work. governed by a manner of animal king, sending a cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable <laughs> of listening to it. The giant leopard <laughs> king turret. <laughs> Watch that again. <laughs> Some of them are bowing. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing in this room. To be fair, the room is kind of effed up. <laughs> hey, you made it. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Oh! Ah! <laughs> Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, you should ask that first. Oh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wake you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right, brilliant. Go team. <laughs> See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. <laughs> well, I seem to recall they hired a dude who goes by the alias Ratman. Mhm. Mm to do all the the graffiti art you see in here. Yeah. Ah, they make Glados. Glados kills them all. Someone's worshipping the companion cube. We... Someone's still worshipping the companion... Or, that is the compan the spirit of the companion cube. And Glados offers you cake. Yep. Um, we... No, spirit of the companion cube has a portal gun. But we are the savior! <laughs> Look at that! Yeah. We are a holy deity now. This is funny because there was like no one else here that you knew of, really. Yeah. Unless one of the other test subjects. Um, that would explain why, well that and the fact that we've been asleep for what was that, 10,000 days? A long, long time. There was, what, three or four nines? <laughs> it was going into an error. Yeah. It had maxed out on its numerical capacity. Yeah, so you don't even know how long it's been. Exactly. The place has fallen apart pretty excessively. So it's been more than a few years. Hmm. X machine. Scanner. What is that? Uh, oh yeah, you can see where your portals are. Oh! So if you go on, like, the other side of a wall, you can see where your portal is. Oh, that's cool. It also helps with the co-op portion of the game. Yeah. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the Laws of Robots to share. <laughs> Ban breaking past deck. It's like, well, as long as they're all capable of reading it. <laughs> Light is still on. It's wireless. <laughs> Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. <laughs> yeah. It shot at me! What the hell? Vacuum tube. 
I'm looking takeover service announcements. Yeah. Just in case. <laughs> Get in the elevator. Do it now. I'm looking into the light. Cake. Brownie, but yeah. <laughs> 